Welcome. I have an amazing new code that I want to reveal. It's a synthesis of the Western astrology and the ancient Indian astrology. I've got a name for it. It's called Code 999. And at the end of this short presentation, you'll understand why it's triple nine code. But in India, it's got a special name. It's called the Vedic Nava Graha. Nava means nine and the Graha is the planet. So the Nava Graha is a very ancient um, matrix of the phenomena of nine planets. So, um, and he, so this one's called, we, what we call Mercury, they call it Buddha. What we call Venus, they call it Shukra. What they call the, the Chandra, we call the moon. So I'm going to go through that. But they would say that the sun, I'll just grab my pen, here it is. So they would say that the sun here, we, we start off with the sun, that's its symbol. It's called Surya. Now Surya means the sun and it's based on number one. So number one, um, we want to create a magic square of three. So where everything adds up to 15. So they would normally go one, two, three, four. Observe this pathway that I'm doing. I'm going one, two, three, four, five is always in the middle, six, seven, eight, and nine. Now everything adds up to 15, but essentially Surya was known as number one. But in the Western astrology, and that makes sense that number one is the sun, it's the source, the light. But in Western astrology, we, we showed that this, the sun is actually number six. So here in the Western astrology, we, we've, um, this is an explanation of how we get Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, the seven days. So in, so in the alchemical cosmology of the Hermetic, they start with the moon and they go, um, we're looking at the speed of the planet. So we've got, we've got seven planets here. We've got the moon, Mercury. These are the fastest. So from Earth, this, the moon appears fast, then Mercury. And then we've got Venus, Sun, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn. Saturn, we know, is the slowest planet. So this is a septagram. So what I've just drawn is a septagon. This is about the increasing speeds of the planet. So I've just drawn a seven-pointed, seven-sided gong. Now, now the reason why, if we call the moon number nine, this is what the ancient Greeks and Europeans did. They said the moon is nine. Um, Mercury is the magic square of eight. Venus is the magic square of seven. The sun, the sun is a magic square of six. Magic square. So this is all going back to harmonic numbers called magic square. Mars was five, Jupiter is the magic square of four, and Saturn is number three. Whereas when we look at the chart over here, we're going to see that Saturn is a different number and it never integrated why East and West had different planetary attributes. And just the final thing, the reason we get we um, get the seven days of the week, if we start with um, um, if we start here with Monday, I'm going to go. Um, we start here, the moon is the moon day, which is Monday. This is Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday. We come across to Wednesday. In, that's called Woten's Day in the old Viking, Woten Day. They've got Monday, Tuesday, got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Now Thursday was the god of Thor, Thor Thor's Day. And then Friday, Venus, seven. Friday is, is the goddess of Frigg, Frigg. And then from Friday we go to Sutter, um, Saturday, which is Saturn Day. So Saturn Day is Saturday, and then we finally get, then we finally get to Sunday. So we go from Saturday to the Sunday. So we've just done the seven planets in the Western alchemical cosmology, but so we would say that Saturn is a magic square of three, the Sun is a magic square of six, because all the columns and rows are up to Everything is up to one, one, one. This is about unity consciousness. So this is one system. And so in a way, I'm going to show you another whole system called the Vedic Navagraha, where the sun, where the sun is actually in the center. And they called the sun number one, not six. Now, everything here added up to 15, but the sum of all these numbers is three lots of 15. So the sum of one, plus two, plus three, plus four, up to nine, adds up to 45. So these are important because this is part of the code. 
So the next one, see how we've got a one here? We have a two here. So you have to follow this pattern. One, two, three, four. So we go two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this was called the moon, which they called Chandra. And it's based and its vibration is two, whereas in the other system it was a nine. And then we, if we, if we go to the, the three here, so Mars called Kuja, Kuja is a magic square where you start from three and it goes three, four. We're following the same pattern like the Surya. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And this, this all added an 11. Each column adds up to 21, but three lots of 21. The sum of all the numbers is 63 because we're going to add up all these numbers in a minute. Whereas Chandra started off with two, it all added up to 18 and it added up to 54. We could keep doing this all the way for, so we've got three Kuja for four, we've got Buddha. If we start with four, we get Mercury, the Vedic Mercury that's called the Buddha. And the sum of everything in this one adds up to 24, but three lots of 24 is 72. We're gonna add up all these sums in a minute. So the next one, number five, is called Jupiter. So our Jupiter symbol is that, but they called it Guru. The Guru is the teacher. So that started with five. All the numbers here added up to 27. I know each column is 27, it adds up to 81. We'll go to six, there's a six here. Shukra is Venus. Shukra in Arabic means like sugar or something sweet. So this is Venus. It starts with six. You go six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. It ends on fourteen. All the columns add up to thirty. And the sum of three lots of thirty is ninety. We're going to add this up. We're almost there. So let's look at um. We've done six. Let's, number seven here is called Saturn. That it's called Shani. And all the sums of for Shani, for Saturn, add up to 33, and three lots of 33 is 99. So we're gonna add that up in a minute. The next one, starting with eight, is not actually a planet, they called it Rahu. Now there's two um, north nodes and south nodes. This is the north, this is the north node, and every column adds up to 36, but the three lots of 36, all the numbers in there, add up to Shri 108. And the last one here is called the south node, in astrology, it's this symbol here. They call it Ketu. These have got to do with the, the moon's path intersecting with the Earth's ecliptic. So here we've got Ketu. It starts with number 9. It goes 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I'm following the same path as the sun. So this is very ancient knowledge. It all added up to 39. And three lots of 39 for all of this is 117. So, um, so now you can see that this is called the Navagraha, the nine planets, symbolically represented by the magic square of three, which I believe is the center of the Tibetan calendar. It's the center of the cosmic world. And this, what I'm about to reveal to you now, has never been seen before in any Vedic text. And I want to reveal how all this relates to code 999. So you can see here that if we have a cube, and I draw another square. I can do a three-dimensional cube. And the reason I'm calling it number nine is because the pattern, if you were to add up the sum of all these numbers, 72, 90, 54, 81, 45, 63, 117, 99, and 108, the sum of every bit of data that you see, it's actually 81 numbers. You've got nine, so we have nine. So we'll call it the total sum. Of everything you see, we call it the sigma, equals, we're going to add up all these 81 numbers, so we know that each square has 9, and and that 9, nine squared is 81, so that's 9 squared. There's 81 numbers that we're adding, and the sum of all these numbers is 729. And that's the pattern, That's what, and you're going to say, well, what's 729? Well, if you're a maths nerd like me, you know that 729 is 9 cubed. 9 to the power of 3. So 9 times 9 times 9 is 729. So 
when I just discovered this, I was just doing some research, it was it just obviously made sense that whoever created this ancient Navagraha, this, this mysticism of the nine planets, knew that everything subscribed to the, the definitive meaning of number nine, nine squared and nine cubed. So what we're doing is we're moving through the dimensions from nine flat land, nine squared, nine cubed to multi-dimensional ancient knowledge of the nine planets. Thank you.